2023 was no different from 2022. From floods to heat waves to landslides to earthquakes, most of them due to climate change. What changed was the intensity with which these calamities hit our planet. For instance, 2023 was the hottest year on record. We saw higher temperatures due to burning of fossil fuels and the return of El Nino. China registered a temperature of 52.2 degrees Celsius. Numerous countries passed the 50 degrees Celsius mark. The heat index in Middle East reached 66.7 degrees Celsius. One would have only imagined these levels, but they are a reality now. Europe saw the worst heat wave in at least 500 years. The region saw record temperatures in summer 2023, and countries like Italy, Spain, UK, Croatia all saw record high temperatures. Let's talk about some instances in the US as well. Phoenix saw 31 straight days of temperatures exceeding 110 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 43 degrees Celsius. El Paso saw 44 straight days of this temperature. Looked like these calamities were competing with each other. These heat waves were followed by intense wildfires. The combined emissions of these wildfires was equal to 480 million tons of carbon emissions. Tragic, unbelievable and bizarre. This is how one can describe these events. Canada definitely topped the list with 45.7 acres of land in flames. The area burned was twice the size of Portugal. More than 6,500 fires across the country and here the wildfires produced 23% of the global wildfire emissions. Greece experienced worst wildfires in 20 years and impacted 1,75,000 hectares of land and Chile saw an impact on 2,70,000 hectares with 1,000 injured and 26 people dead. While there was a lot of fire, there was no dearth of water. Deadly floods impacted 16 cities and provinces in China after the most substantial rainfall in over 140 years. Libya saw intense rainfall due to Storm Daniel, due to which two dams unleashed 30 million cubic meters of water and impacted hundreds and thousands of people in some of the cities. Chennai in India saw 50 millimeters of rainfall in one day versus two and a half millimeters on an average. Just look at the amount. 12,500 people are taken to 141 relief camps and the number is changing by the day. The world was also shaken by terrible earthquakes with the biggest one being the one at Turkey and Syria, hurting 50,000 people. The Richter scale read 7.8. Morocco saw 3,000 people being impacted by an earthquake with 6.8 on the Richter scale. Afghanistan saw 1,482 fatalities, 2,100 injuries and 43,400 people being affected. Chinese earthquake hurt close to 118 people. These are only few of the number of cases that happened last year. 2023 was a year when every day, somewhere, was a climate record of some sorts. A record we should not be very proud of. Because the climate clock, my friend, is ticking.